Good day, everybody. This is Sports on News. I'm Joe Bird. Please can subscribe down below or above an easy use widget to keep us growing to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June. This is going to be on the great game between the New York Rangers and the Carolina Hurricanes, as it proved to be another low scoring tilt in this series. Just like every single game of the series, the first game was two to one Canes on that deflection off a lingering goal by Ian Cole, and the second game was two nothing Canes on the Brendan Smith goal uh, for the um, nice tip in front that was assisted by Sebastian Ajo. In this game, the Rangers came out and played Rangers hockey. They relied on Prince Igor, the guy that's going to get the Vezina, and also was nominated for the MVP for a damn reason, because he's likely the second best in the world right now. To still Andre Vasilevsky has to pass his Russian counterpart there. But those two are the top kahunas, and Igor, Prince Igor, stepped up big time in this game. And they relied on their goaltender, and they pushed the offense more Played pretty fairly well in the neutral zone. Had some key shot blocks. But obviously, when you have one of the best goalies in the league, you allow over 40 shots, okay, it's fine because he's able to stop them, keep them to the outside as much as you can. And then he was able to make some spectacular, um, air, like some, multiple spectacular um, saves in that game where acrobatic I, was the word I was looking for, saves in that game where Shesterkin was able to get from side to side. But you also got to give the shouts out. I thought both goalies played great games where Ronta made a lot of key saves, like on the Kako one-timer, on a couple other plays in front. The play that Mott, he he did end up hitting it off of his stick. Otherwise, that might have went in when Mott was able to make that nice play that he kicked to himself before he scored the empty net seal or later. So there was a lot of good play on both ends. I would have to say both goaltenders deserve to be mentioned in the potential stars of the game for that game but you would have to give the star of the game to Chris Kreider I would say because that was a beautiful goal to be able to come out from the back and then Zibanejad got the second star because he had the great first goal on the power play when Panarin was able to slap pass it to him and he was able to shoot it home but Kreider scoring the winning goal that's not an easy play as a lefty to come out there turn D'Angelo lost his stick and then he was able to snipe that one top shelf that is a brilliant play there by Chris Kreider the Niederreiter goal is a goal that I don't think you're going to see Igor let in ever again like 99% of the time he's going to stop that it was a fantastic first star or I would say maybe yeah first star I would say it was a fantastic first star level game for Igor Shostak and put Kreider as the second and then Jabanajad as the third that's the order I would do where Shesterkin was great in that, letting that one shoddy goal there to Niederreiter, it happens, but then he bounced back and made some great saves to close out as well. So I would say, fantastic game by the Rangers. They played to their strengths. They're a team that's not the tightest defensively, where I think they tried to play Carolina Hurricane-style hockey too much in the first two, where they were too conservative, didn't push the offense enough themselves, because they were trying to just kind of tamper the Hurricanes offense where the best case scenario for them was always to kind of play this style like they did in game three push your offense let Igor do his thing and keep him to the outside as much as possible it worked for them great game three by the Rangers that was a pivotal game three win for them as they could turn the tide of the series if they're able to win back-to-back -back games peace out everybody stay safe please and subscribe down below above on the easy to use widget to keep the channel growing to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June this has been a recap of the great game three where Prince Igor and the Rangers were able to take it to make this series now just a two to one lead as in this defensive bout of a series as this was the most goals in a game four as a total the other was three in the first game it's been a very good low scoring series where the goaltenders have been mighty sharp peace out everybody and stay safe